Hi, welcome back. This is Sean Chua from alevelh2chemistry.com. Now, in electrophilic addition mechanism of your alkenes, there's a very important concept called the Markovnikov's rule that every chemistry student must master and know it very well before your examination because most likely you'll be tested on it. Now, let's take a look at what we are talking about. All right? Now, um, this Markovnikov rule becomes very, very important when you have an alkene which is unsymmetrical. All right? The easiest example I can give you is called propene, C3H6. We're going to take a look in a while. All right? And when you react with a reagent or reactant that is unsymmetrical also. All right? So HBr, there are two different atoms, so we call it unsymmetrical. If this is Br2, then it's symmetrical. You won't have this problem in regards to Markovnikov's rule. All right? But if it's HBr, then you realize you will have uh, more products that is being produced. All right? Let me show you. No. So this is propene. So propene, let me draw it out. Two carbon with the double bond, CH3, hydrogen, hydrogen. So one, two, three, with double bond, this is propene molecule. When your HBr, hydrogen bromide molecule, come close to it, all right, what happens is that uh, this bond, all right, due to the difference in electronegativity, will already be polarized because bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen, so it will be delta minus, all right, and uh, has a partial negative charge. So here is delta plus. So this hydrogen atom over here, which is electron deficient right now, tends to attack the pi bond in the CC double bond over here. All right, so you have these curly arrows, all right, to show the movement of electrons from the pi bond. And over here, there we hit the rolytic fission, all right, whereby the bond pair is being transferred to bromine atom itself. So this will then be your first step in electrophilic addition known as the slow step or the rate determining step and this will get you your carbocation intermediate yeah. now what happened is the hydrogen has a choice to be either attached at this carbon or this carbon and because of that you have two different carbocation intermediate yeah. let me show you all right so you're going to have this slow step Okay, so this is what you have from propene. Now, so uh, let's say the hydrogen atom goes to this carbon, so the hydrogen will be here. So this will be your carbocation intermediate. Carbocation intermediate. Let me write this down. All right, carbocation intermediate. Now, at the same time, all right. Okay. The first step, the slow step, could be that the hydrogen atom is being attached to this carbon atom. All right. So let's take a look what you have. So I'm going to have this. Okay, Hydrogen attached to this carbon. So this is the electron deficient carbon right now. And you again have a carbocation intermediate. And these two intermediates are different all right okay and this is where we're going to employ uh, and use Markovnikov's rule all right a rule that was came up and proposed by a Russian chemist very very useful okay now uh, this carbocation intermediate you take a look the carbon over here has one metal group two metal group or alcohol group right uh, which is electron donating so they donate electrons to this electron deficient carbon since there are two of them we call this secondary carbocation intermediate whereas this carbocation, carbocation intermediate the carbon has only one alkyl group that is donating electrons to it okay so this is called a primary carbocation now and according to Markovnikov's all right um, he proposed that this secondary carbocation intermediate will be more stable because you have two R groups, one, two, that donate electrons over here. Okay? 
to counter the positive charge. So this is more stable, whereas this is less stable. And because of this, all right, you look at the second step, which is the fast step. Okay, let's have our BR minus around. So you have a BR minus attack. Okay, this will be your two products. So this is your BR. Let me draw the other one. BR is here. C is H3. Okay, these are obviously two different products. If we name it, then you realize they are really, really different. Now, this is known as what? This is known as uh, two bromopropane. Two bromopropane. Whereas this is known as one bromopropane. Since the IUPAC name is different, they must be two different compounds. In fact, they are known as isomers. All right, they're known as isomers. Now, so um, we will call this, or rather, we we'll identify this as the major product. So you're going to have more of this, where this is known uh, as the minor product. So you have less of this when you undergo electrophilic addition of propene with HBr, hydrogen bromide. So this will be your major product, whereas this is your minor product. All right. So there will be two alcohol halides or halogenyl alkanes that is being produced. Okay, once again, uh, Markovnikov rule is very important. All right, when it comes to electrophilic addition of an unsymmetrical alkene like propene with a reagent that is also unsymmetrical, because in this way you have two different types of carbocation intermediate. And according to Markovnikov, all right, the one that has more alkyl group will be more stable. All right, the carbocation will be more stable. And thus, after I go through the second step, the first step, that product should be the major product. Okay. I hope you enjoy yourself and uh, learn a lot on Markovnikov's rule with regards to electrophilic addition of unsymmetrical alkenes. Uh, feel free to share this with your friends, as many as possible, especially for those that really need help on organic chemistry. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.